Hi, it's Mr. Anderson, and this is a mini lesson on planning and carrying out investigations. Level one, investigations. Let me get this car ramp out of the way. And so the icon that represents investigations is a magnifying glass because we want to look deeply. We really want to look for especially like, like qualities and numbers that will help us understand a phenomena. So like they'll always start an investigation with identifying a phenomena. We then investigate the phenomena and we hopefully gather some data that will help us understand the phenomena. And so the first step is always to identify the phenomena that you are going to investigate. But then once we start investigating, there are going to be three major parts of an investigation. First, we start with the purpose. Why are we doing the investigation? Next, we think about what is the evidence that we're actually going to gather. And then finally, we're going to come up with an investigation plan that's going to detail what we're going to do. And then finally, we're going to gather some data. And so after watching this video, you should be able to come up with an investigation plan to investigate phenomena like these two green blocks or how material is affected by light. I'm going to start by showing you how to plan an investigation around these taped eggs and then you'll have the chance to do the same with these miniature cars. So let me clean this up and then we'll get started. Okay, so for the first investigation, what we have are some taped eggs. So we have a red egg and we have a white egg and they're taped uh, shut and I can feel something inside both of them, but I'm not gonna open it up. What we're gonna do is just use these as a way to figure out exactly how an investigation works. And so the first thing I always wanna write down is I wanna write down the phenomena. So the phenomena that we're trying to figure out is we have these two taped eggs and they have something inside. And so the first thing we should think about is what's the purpose? So why are we doing an investigation? So the purpose that we're trying to uh, figure out is we want an answer to the question about what is hidden inside the egg. And if you're ever doing any investigation, you always want to think about why am I doing this? And then the next step is what evidence could I gather that would help me answer that question? So let me write down some evidence that might be helpful. So the easiest types of investigation are those where we just use our senses. So I could just watch the eggs to figure out a little bit about their motion. I could feel them. So a sense of touch to figure out their weight. And then I could use my sense of hearing to figure out what, what sounds they might make, especially when I shake them. So the next step, once I got purpose and evidence, is to come up with a plan. A plan is something that someone else could follow. So let me write down a specific plan. Okay, so when you're writing a plan, you want to put it in order and you want somebody to be able to follow it. So I said, observe eggs using vision, touch, and hearing, record observations in a data table, and guess what's inside each egg. Now, I don't think somebody could follow this because we don't have a data table. And that gets to the next part of an investigation. We have to think about what data are we actually going to collect. And so let me write a just sample data for uh, what we've asked here in the plan. Okay, so now we've got a data table. These are gonna be the big headings. What I'm gonna measure is going to be the egg type, egg motion, egg weight, and egg sound. So you could write things below it, but let me put a space where you could actually write those down. Okay, now I think a person could follow this. So they could follow through the plan and when they get to data table, they could see this is the data table and this is gonna be where they record their data. And so when you're doing investigations, most of it is not about the actual doing of the investigation, it's about the setting it up. Can we define the purpose, the evidence, the plan, and then some kind of a data table. Now, just to give you a little bit more sense of what's going on in the eggs, let me just do this investigation quickly and then you could take a stab as to what you think's inside the egg.
Okay, so what I wrote down is the egg, the red egg wiggles and rolls all around, and then the white egg, when you drop it, it shakes a little bit, but it doesn't move. The red egg is really light compared to the white egg, which is gonna be really heavy. And then if you just listen when I shake the red egg, there's like a soft click. And then if I shake the white egg, it almost sounds like a uh, maraca. I don't know if I spelled that right. So this is how you plan an investigation. You think about purpose, evidence, plan, data. And then the last thing you do is you gather data and that data is gonna allow you to make more sense as to what's going on in the uh, phenomena. So I know what's inside these, but <laughs> you should definitely take a guess. And now I'm gonna clean it all up and I'm gonna set up another phenomena for you to try. Okay, for the next one, I've got these three cars. I've got a blue, a red, and a white car. I've built this little ramp out of a Lego um, and so a couple of rulers. And so what I would encourage you to do is identify the phenomena, purpose, evidence, plan, and data table. What would you do if you had access to these three cars and a ramp? So pause the video and then uh, come up with a plan and then you could use the slides below if you want to. And then when you're done, come back and we can see how our investigation plans will be similar and maybe different. Okay, so the first thing I would do is I would identify the phenomena. So the cars are definitely gonna be a part of it and the ramp as well. So the phenomena that I'm investigating is going to be the cars and the ramps. Next thing I have to do is figure out a purpose. So why am I doing this investigation? So the purpose that I'm interested in is just answering the question, which of these three cars will roll the farthest? Next thing I have to figure out is what data am I going to gather? So I'm gonna roll them down the ramp. So what I'm thinking is how far they roll or their roll distance is the evidence that I'm gonna gather. And now the next step is I have to figure out a plan. I want somebody else to be able to follow this plan. So I'm gonna have to write the plan. Okay, so as I think about my plan, what I'm gonna have uh, the, the investigation do is set up the ramp in the runway, release the car with the rear bumper at the top of ramp, measure roll distance to the front bumper for three trials, repeat with the other two cars, and then declare a winner. And so uh, next thing I have to do before somebody could do this would be to set up a data table. So that's where I'm gonna go next. Okay, so in my data table, what I have are the blue car, the red car, and the white car. So those are gonna be the cars that I'm gonna investigate. I then have three trials. Lots of times in science, it's good, especially if you're measuring, to do things over and over to see how well your plan is working and if it's consistent over time. So now we've done an investigation. We've got a good purpose, evidence, and plan, an empty data table, and somebody could just come and follow this. But I'm sure what you wanna know is which of the cars will roll the farthest. And so I'm gonna take a second and collect a little bit of data.
Okay, now we can look at the data. So what I found is that the blue car in each of the trials went five inches. In the red car, it went nine, nine, and nine and a half inches. And then the white car went six and a half twice and seven inches once. Now, if you do a perfect experiment or investigation, all these values should be the same, but they're all pretty close. And so if I were to answer the question and declare the winner, I would probably put it in this order. In first place would be the red car travels the furthest, next would be the white car, and next is going to be the blue car. And so that's how you plan an investigation. The gathering of data is always fun, but it's more important to think about why am I doing this? What evidence will I collect? And then what is the plan? So now that you've done that with these cars, I've got some slides below with other phenomena. You could try out with these green blocks, or you could even try a science experiment with different materials and light you might find around your house. And so those are investigations. It all starts with defining a purpose, and I hope that's helpful.